Hello friends, today in this video we are going to learn how to create detailed events in Google Calendar from new Excel rows. Now every time you have to add an event to your Google Calendar, you have to go find the month, then the date and then set a timer. Isn't it too tiring? I will make it easy for you. Today we will learn how to create an integration between MS Excel and Google Calendar. We will do this in such a way where MS Excel will be our trigger application and action application is going to be Google Calendar. For example, as soon as you add a new row in your MS Excel sheet, a new event, a detailed event will be created in your Google Calendar. We will be doing this integration with the help of an automation software called Pabli Connect. Let us learn how to do it. So, in today's video, we will learn how to add detailed events in your Google Calendar with the help of MS Excel rows. Now, if you are an event manager who is supposed to plan and organize many promotional or social events, then you might have to add events in your Google Calendar one by one. Now, that is a very long and time taking task. So, let us learn how to do it easily. We will be doing this using an automation software called Pabli. As you can see that this is the landing page of Pabli. On the right hand side, you can see there are two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have an existing account, you have to click on sign up for free. But I do have an existing account in Pabli, so I'll click on sign in. After this, it will take me to the login page where I can sign in with Google and I will be directly logged in into Pabli. As soon as I log in into Pabli, it will take me to this window which has all the applications that Pabli provides you. We are going to use Pabli Connect today because we are going to create an integration between the two applications that is MS Excel and Google Calendar. So we have to click on access now. Here you can see there are many other workflows that I have created in Pabli Connect. But we have to start from scratch and therefore we will click on create workflow button that is on the right side. As you click on the button create workflow, you have to name your workflow according to what applications you're supposed to use over here. So we are using Excel and Google Calendar or we can also write events in Google Calendar. You can choose any name with your comfort. Let it load and see you have created this workflow but now you're supposed to assign task. So before you assign task, two windows appear in front of you. One is trigger and other is action. Now what is a trigger and action? A trigger is when this happens. When this happen means you have to select an application in the trigger window, which will be called your trigger application. Now your trigger application is the one where any trigger is supposed to happen. For example, our trigger application will be Excel. Because as soon as you add a new row in your MS Excel, that event will be created in your action application that is Google Calendar. So like we chose Microsoft Excel as our trigger application, you have to add a trigger event as well that at what event this trigger will work. So the trigger will be a new row in the worksheet, which means that you have to create a worksheet prior. Like you can see, I already have created. This is my MS Excel worksheet that I have created. I have named it events because I'm going to collect all the events in this sheet. And I have also given column names to this worksheet and the column names are based on what information I want to add in the events in my Google Calendar. For example, the title of the event, the description of the event, the start date and the end date along with the time and then the location. Now location is something which is optional, but if you want, you can add it. So you already have this uh, sheet prepared. So go back to Pabli Connect and click on connect because now we will connect our trigger application to Pabli Connect. So we'll click on add new connection and click on connect with Microsoft Excel. Because you already have your tab open, so it will detect and just ask for access. So click on yes. And now that you've given access to Pabli Connect to connect to Microsoft Excel, the authorization will be successful soon and see it's selected. Now this is a very important part. The workbook that has to be selected has to be given attention. Now calendar is the name of the workbook that is selected over here. But you should remember that events is the name of the worksheet that we are going to work on. So drop down menu and then go on 
events. And then there is an option called worksheet as well. It has selected sheet one. So just do a quick check that you only have one sheet. So no need to change that. Now, when you click on save and send test request, before that you have to go and enter an information over here. Because until and unless you don't have an information, what is Pabli Connect going to capture? So click on save and send test request and go back to your sheet. Now let us give, a, give the title as music festival. You can write the description like the great Indian music festival. You can drag and extend this column. Will be held for let's say three days. Fine. Now the start date and time and the end date and time. This is also a very important part because whatever is the date and time you're going to enter over here in your MS Excel sheet will be detected by Pabli Connect and then further it will be forwarded to Google Calendar. So make sure that you enter the date and time in the same format that the Google Calendar actually accepts. So Google Calendar accepts in this format. First the year then the month and then the date. So let's say the event is going to start on 11th. Then put T for time because this was the date and you're putting T to tell the time. So the time will be let's say 5 in the evening. So what is 5 called? 17 17 hour minute and seconds and similarly the date of the ending day. That's year, month, and as we wrote that the event will be for three days. So 13 is going to be the last day. Make sure it is capital T and the time will be 11 o'clock at night. It's 23. So R minutes and seconds. So make sure that you enter the start date and time and the end date and time in this format only. Then the location. So you can write main ground so this is the information that you have entered now as soon as you press enter after entering the last information we will go back to Pabli connect to check our response if you remember we already clicked on save and send test request so as you can see this response has been collected the title is there the description is there the time of the starting and the ending time as well also the location is present now our first step is very clear and you can see the response is received. So we have to proceed to the action application because our destination is Google Calendar. That is going to be our action application. So let us enter Google Calendar and it's already present now. So let's click on Google Calendar and the action event is going to be create an event. Create an event using this information that Pabli Connect has captured from our Excel sheet. Now, when you connect, obviously, if you have a Gmail account, you already have a Google Calendar. Just make sure to open it in order to check if the response will be received or not. So just click on connect and click on add new connection and sign in with your Google account. Because you're already operating with your Google account, it will just ask which account to access and allow. Authorization is successful and now see. It has all these information that you actually needed. So see, what you're supposed to do is, this is a very crucial step because you have to do mapping of the information. Like it's written over here, insert data from previous step, which means you have to map in such a way that every time this row is entered with the new information, it will be forwarded to the title part. Okay, so when you click on it, it asks you to search and map data. So you can just open this and find your suitable option. That is music festival. That was our title. Then you click on description, map the data, open this. And then this was your description. The great Indian music festival will be held for three days. Then you go to location again, click on the rows and the location was main ground. Now the start time, the same process. This was the start time that is five o'clock and 11th of February. 
and then end date will be the third row data now the time zone is important because it depends on whichever place you are living i am operating from asia slash kolkata this area this is my time zone so i will click on this it's up to you if you want to make it public or keep it private i am keeping it public guest and event reoccurrence rule is of your choice you will just click on save and send test request and this is the response the time the title the information and everything so just save this and our workflow is saved the data is saved successfully now you go back to your calendar refresh it and then go back to 11th now see you see it's 11th music festival at 5 pm we entered 17 o'clock over there but it's 5 pm automatically 5 pm then you check on 13th and then again on 13th till 5 pm music festival is there the information has been collected and further transferred to our google calendar successfully so which proves that every time a new information or a new ev event detail is added in this ms excel sheet it will be further forwarded to our google calendar so you don't have to find the days the month and then give them a time duration again and again just enter your event in your excel sheet and then it will be done in no time no manual work required so let us check our workflow let's do a recap of what we did it happened just in two steps our trigger application was a microsoft excel and our action application was google calendar you gave the trigger application assigned the trigger event selected the correct workbook and then your test request was received further in your action window you selected your action window as google calendar and our action event was create an event and the next and very important step was to do the mapping so you gave the correct mapping of the title the description the location and the start date time and the end date time as you can see the time zone is also very important this red colored required that's written in bracket shows that what all information are necessary the ones who are without this required word they are not so important but it's just up to you and your work if you need to enter that detail the rest click on save and send test request your response is received and you can just cross check your workflow over here that the information has been transferred successfully so this was our workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you